tonight. So you can have a little look in. Any questions about the Akan and saying any questions about the operations? So the padlocks are obviously as far as all in the round area. So we will have our own individual padlock, which is all around my just like this. We will have our own individual one, just meaning unless I take this padlock off, this rag cannot be started. So it means the rag cannot be started unless all these padlocks are off. That isolator is returned. That's the that's the lockout. As soon as you turn that around, it becomes active again. Um, and I can turn it on. These other keys are just the top one's the one that turns it on. The middle one is the auto manual key switch. The third one down is the maintenance bypass. So I'm saying in normal operation, my host will have to press buttons to activate my buttons yeah. so then I can send it. Right. But with that maintenance key in, it can do it. Um, Gate bar pass that's it. so if the ride stops for any reason, there's not a train in the station that can't open the gates. The, the exit gates because they're now interlocked. So if I turn that key, it will just bypass that so tech can get in and sort of you out. It's a very colourful new panel. There's blue buttons, green buttons, red buttons, orange buttons. Yeah. From the old one. No, it, it is still simplistic in, in its ways. So each button, obviously, we have very deep training in what to do anyway. But each button is very self-explanatory. Um, the ride tells me exactly what's going on, where it's going on. For example, the harness system. Can you see the sort of outline there of the seats? It'll tell. It's a single seat harness monitoring, so it'll tell me exactly which seats locked, which seats unlocked. Um, and the whole status of the harness system. The old one just used to stand on a screen and on a light, but uh, a harness on one of two rooms is not locked, so we just have to sort of try and find it, see what's going on with that, and try and lock it. But now I know exactly which one it is and exactly the issue that's stopping it from closing. Because you do close in pairs. If you see these bars here, uh, that's row one and two, three and four, five and six and seven and eight. They drop, they call the buttons, they drop on something called an actuator. The actuator will stop the harnesses, bring them down, and then if we need to lock it, they'll raise up again until I let go of the button. This is a manual release bar, so if anything fails and we need to let people out, we're not in a normal position, we'll be able to power loss. We'll put this manual release bar into something called a manual release peg. This will unlock the whole row, um, so if you do one by one, we'll get to release them onto a set of steps of the floor so that all what you can do and then get them up. Um, so obviously you've got the lift platform there, you see the silver board that goes across? That sort of, we manually pull that off, attach it to the bottom of each column of the train and then that forms a working part of the Step up, walk down the lift stairs and come back. Yeah, any more questions at all?